Hey YouTube, it's me Chrissy. I'm going to be doing a video today on my January favorites. First off, I just wanted to say two things. I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day giveaway um, and then that will be on my Twitter account and then also my YouTube account. Um, so if you're not following me on Twitter, it's ChrissyKissy915 on Twitter. So for the giveaway, you have to be following me on Twitter. And then also I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, for Valentine's Day on my YouTube account. So you must be a subscriber for that. So if you want to jump on that and if you're not subscribed or following me, go ahead and do that. And I'll be posting a video within the next few days about the giveaways. Um, so I just wanted to quickly go over that. Um, so that will be happening within the next few days, and so let's get started with the January favorites. Um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be um, about a perfume, some jewelry, some different stuff, so not just all like makeup. Um, oh, so first thing that I wanted to say, this is going to be a little quirky. I don't know if anyone's ever done this, or I've never seen this in a favorites video. But me and my fiancé had to go down to the city because I needed to get my engagement ring size because it was a little big. So um, they have this bakery down there called Magnolias. And they actually have a, a few different bakeries like around. They have, I think, one in L.A. They have a few in Manhattan. And I think they're opening one up in Dubai soon. And um, they talked about this bakery on Sex in the City on the show, so I think that's how it kind of got famous. So we were at Grand Central Station because we took the train down. We're only about 45 minutes away from Manhattan, but we took the train down and um, we decided to stop at the bakery on the way home. So um, this month they featured like the uh, the red velvet, but I guess we got there too late because they sold out. Um, and they weren't going to have them for a while, and we had to catch the train, but we did get some cupcakes, which were absolutely amazing. We love them, but they have a banana pudding that is absolutely out of this world. I'm, my mouth is watering just thinking about it, so if you get a chance to stop by Magnolia's and to try, if you guys like bananas, a banana pudding app, amazing, but the weird thing is, um, I'm kind of allergic to bananas, and I used to get, like, my lips used to, like, blow up and get all itchy, but I think I grew out of that because when I had the banana pudding, um, it didn't give me any problems at all. So if you get a chance to, um, check them out, and if you like banana pudding, you will love this banana pudding. It's amazing. Um, so that's kind of weird, but, oh, and then, um, Dunkin', <laughs> Dunkin', <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkachinos amazing if you like coffee and hot chocolate it's like a coffee hot chocolate concoction and it is so good um so that too okay so let's go into the january favorites uh, i want to talk about two pieces of jewelry um i got this michael kors watch from my friend the code is mk5039 and it's this nude watch let's see if you can see that it's very pretty. Um, it goes with absolutely anything. It's um, it's like a nude ceramic, and it's got um, the embellishments in gold, so it's really pretty. Um, I think it matches my skin tone very well, and I'm just trying to put it on so I can show you how far it goes up my wrist. So that's what it looks like. It goes pretty much far up my wrist. Um, it's really pretty. It goes really well with my hair and my skin tone, and it goes with absolutely any outfit. So I love it, and I have been wearing it every day. Um, another thing I've been totally obsessing about is my Pandora bracelet. I absolutely love my bracelet. I'm totally obsessed with buying these little charms. I actually got this for Christmas um, from my boss. He got me the bracelet and then also the the angel charm which is really cute so I've been trying to collect the beads they're pretty I mean it depends on what kind of beads you beads you like but um they're not too bad my bracelet ranges from $25 um I think my most expensive bead was I think 60 or 65 but I wanted to keep the bracelet pretty neutral so all the beads are like white and gray and black so I can wear it with um, a lot of outfits so I'll just go through my bead um, bracelet here. The first one here 
is this little moo cow and he was I believe $25 he's super cute and then this is a Murano glass bead and it's just white with gray and then a little cupcake here with a little gold um, sprinkle on top um, this one is gray and white and it's just like the hearts with the glass and the angel charm and this one is white and gray and it's like a candy cane stripe pattern um, a butterfly another glass bead with polka dots and it's gray and white and then my little teapot which is so cute um, so that's really cute and I really like it and it's nice and you know it's flowy and it's just I just really enjoy it so it's really cute so I love that um, oh okay so I finally jumped on the bandwagon of the Juicy Gator Viva La Juicy um, I got this for Christmas from my grandfather and it smells it is just an amazing scent I love it it's so feminine and you know like sexy I love it um, the notes are I believe I have the Sephora app on my iPhone which I love and I also got this for Christmas it's freaking awesome okay um, the notes are I did have this up. I guess I clicked out of it. I believe it's wild berries, mandarin, honeysuckle, vanilla, caramel, maybe gardenia, I think, and praline. I think so, if I rem remember that correctly. This just smells amazing. I'm not going to go so far into it because everyone's got this and it's... And look at the packaging. It's so freaking cute with the little satin bow. It's just adorable, and I love it. So that's that. Um, the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline, awesome. Um, I am a total drugstore brand mascara girl. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I love my drugstore mascara. So this is really nice. It's in black. It's got like a little curved, you know, like applicator. Um, it's really nice. The consistency is nice. Um, I don't get any kind of like fallout or flakes. So, um, and it, I mean, my lashes are completely stubby and short. But um, I think, I think um, it works very good if you can see that. So that, um, I've been really into painting my nails with the glitter nail polish on the, the index finger. So this is Mad as a Hatter, and this was a really sought-after um, nail polish a few months back. And um, it's hard to find, I think. I, it, they're definitely sold out, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay. But it's this really beautiful, like, purpley, um, multicolored sparkle. And I, I have that on my nails. I actually um, did a Twitter pic on this last night, I believe. And I'm wearing Mad as a Hatter. And then this color here is You Don't Know Jacques from OPI. So I've been really loving that this month. And I've also used other colors like Lucky Lavender. Lucky Lucky Lavender from OPI. The good thing about this is you can do all like the dusty grays. You can do purples. You can do pinks. You can do lilacs. So you can do a lot of different colors with the sparkle for this um, nail polish. So that's why I really like it. Um... Another thing that I'm really liking is this MAC um, Beauty Powder in Too Chic. It's a really pretty, kind of like pinky, pearly gold kind of highlight, and I'm wearing that today, and I'll do like a little swatch. So it's really nice. So I'll show you what that looks like. So it's really cute. I really enjoy this highlight. It's, um, the consistency is really smooth. So that's too chic, and that's for MAC. Um, I got two more products. This is a shampoo from Rusk, and it's um, Sensory's Brilliant Shampoo. And I've been using this for most of the month for January, and it's um, grapefruit and honey, and it's a color protecting shampoo. And you can find this at a beauty supply, or um, I actually picked this up at Rite Aid. Um, it's a little pricey. 
I want to say it was like $12, $13. And um, I have really oily hair, so this works well for me. And um, it smells, this just smells so amazing. So like I said, it's honey and grapefruit. So that's what it looks like. And it says here, Awaken the senses while gently cleansing and protecting fragile color-treated hair. Brilliant shampoo is specially formulated with vitamin C, rich grapefruit extract, vitamin E, and vitamin A. With antioxidant vitamins, helps. So it's really nice. Um, I really like it. And if it helps with, you know, protecting my color, then why not? I like it. The only down thing about it is it's a little pricey. But it... Oh, it's so fresh and clean. It's so, like, clean but fruity. It's, it's lovely. Ooh, and another two products that I've been loving is the Bath & Body Aromatherapy Sleep um, line. And I've got actually three products from this line. Um, this is the Body Wash and Bath, um, the Foam Bath. And it's in um, Lavender Chamomile. And then I also have the body lotion in the same scent. They also have another scent. I think it's lavender vanilla. And I, and I like that one, but I like this one better. And I also have the pillow mist. And um, I use this a lot at nighttime because lavender helps, you know, calm you down and kind of make you sleepy and relaxes you. So I use this a lot at nighttime. When I shower at night, I use all these products. But if I shower in the morning, I tend not to because I don't want to feel like sleepy in the morning. So um, I only use this as nighttime and I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. You can get them at Bath & Body Works. And a lot of the times they have like, like sales on them. Buy two, get something off or buy two, get one free. So you can definitely, and I think that's what I did. I bought, I bought two, got one free and the cheapest item was, um, the pillow mist, I believe it was like $10, so I got the pillow mist for free, and I bought these, and I think this one was $13, and this one was $16. So I really, really like, um, you know, these products. Um, lastly, I'm going to post what I'm wearing as my makeup in the description box, so um, if you want to know what I'm wearing right now on my eyes and my cheeks and my lips, just look below. Um, also, I know I'll probably get um, a question about my jewelry. This is a Tiffany's um, Black Onyx Tag Lock, and then I'm also wearing the Black Onyx studs. I got these from for Christmas, and um, I really love this necklace because it's kind of like you can wear this piece with anything. It's gorgeous. It's classic, and the earrings are really pretty too. They're just you know the black beads. Um, I also have the bracelet. But I went to Boston a few months back, and I I didn't break it. Well, I did break it. It broke. But, so I have the bracelet, and you can see here that it's very fragile. So if you guys have, um, you know, any of these, be careful, because you can see here, it's just like this little wire string. And I actually uh, took this off before I was went into the shower and it totally just broke on me so I kept all the pieces I have to go down to um the Westchester and try and get this fixed my boy my well my fiance doesn't know about it yet but um don't tell him anyway so I really love this um bracelet so I have to get it fixed ASAP um and I think that's it um, I also have been getting a lot of people asking me about my lap band surgery, so I am going to do a video on that soon um, to let you know how my experience went and, you know, basically like a like an overview of what it's about and who qualifies and stuff like that. So I believe I'm all set. So um, stay tuned for the next couple days. I'm going to post a video on my Twitter and YouTube giveaway for Valentine's Day. So just remember that you have to be subscribed on my YouTube channel. So if you're not, go ahead and do that now. And then also you have to be following me on Twitter. So um, get to it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.